All right, now let us look at question five. Okay, zoom in uh, for this question. Okay, a large balloon of volume 1500 meter cube is filled with helium gas at a pressure of 120 kilopascal and temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. The balloon is released and it rises. At a certain height, the temperature of helium in the balloon decreases to 13 degrees Celsius, but the volume of the balloon remains constant. Okay. First of all, uh, what is the pressure of helium in the balloon? Okay. So, the most important statement, the most important statement here is, he says that the volume is constant. Uh, this is the most important. This is the thing you should uh, first look out for. Eh? Um, so, here he says volume is constant. Okay, this is the most important. It means this is an isochoric process. Okay, volume is constant. Uh, volume is constant, no expansion, no compression, zero work done. Okay, isochoric, press, isochoric process, a constant volume. So what information given? We have the initial volume. Okay. First we have the initial volume V1. And okay, this is a helium gas. Uh, helium gas is a monoatomic gas. Uh, that means you have three degree freedom. Okay. You have three degree freedom. And then okay, you have the initial pressure, kilopascal. You need to change to pascal. Okay, this is pressure one. Okay, you have already have volume one and pressure one. And also, uh, the temperature one. Uh, this is the temperature one. Okay, you already have the temperature one also. Um, and then, uh, yeah, he says the temperature decreases. So, this is the final temperature. Okay, you have the final temperature, T2. Volume is constant. Uh, volume is constant. That means between these two situations, uh, the both volume is the same, V1 equal to V2. Okay, this is what I can say. So, the only thing changing is the temperature. We have temperature 1 and temperature 2. So, volume not changing. So, the, the other one changing is the pressure. Uh, so, if volume is constant, if volume is constant, uh, then it is the pressure and temperature changing. Okay, pressure and temperature changing. So, what is the pressure of helium in the balloon? So, this one asks for the final pressure, which is P2. Okay, let us find out. Uh, first of all, I, really, I like to, you know, I like to gather the information first. Yeah, this is my, my practice always. I always like to gather the information first. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so, the, this is a situation one. This is situation two. So, I already have uh, the volume, pressure, temperature for the initial condition. Okay, make sure everything you must change to SI unit. Meter cube. Uh, just now the kilo pascal. The kilo pascal, I change to pascal. Exponent 3. The uh, degree Celsius. Uh, you must change uh, to absolute temperature. Okay, this chapter must always use the absolute temperature. Kelvin only. So, cannot degree Celsius. You must change to Kelvin. So, change to Kelvin with plus 273. Then we get the Kelvin. Okay, 300 Kelvin. Now, uh, for situation 2, uh, the volume is constant. So, V2 equal to V1. Okay, this is an isochoric process. Isochoric, uh, constant volume. Okay, pressure we don't have. Uh, but we have the final temperature, 13. Degree Celsius also must change to Kelvin plus 273. Change to Kelvin. You got it. So just now we uh this is the isochoric process. Isochoric process. So volume is constant. So if volume constant, then it will be the pressure and temperature changing. Pressure and temperature changing means it becomes this formula. Pressure 1 over temperature 1 equal to pressure 2 over temperature 2. P1 T1. O, uh, equal to P2 over T2, which is pressure law. So, isochoric process is the 
pressure law or we sometimes we call it gay lussac law yeah sometimes we call it gay lussac uh, law uh, okay so if volume is volume is constant then pressure and temperature change so use the pressure law equation then we can find the pressure to so the you just substitute the information okay before you substitute make sure already in uh, pascal and kelvin you cannot use atmospheric pressure you also cannot use degree celsius must all change to uh, si unit first pascal and kelvin okay so let us um substitute uh, this is a pressure one will be uh, uh okay one two sorry one two zero exponent three pascal divided by divided by temperature one which is uh, already in kelvin okay must be in kelvin uh? Uh, pressure two we need to find so uh, what is the temperature two uh, also in kelvin okay so what's the answer for pressure two let us find out the pressure two so the answer for pressure two is 1.144 exponent by pascal yeah that's the pressure two okay that's the pressure two now uh for part b so what's the part b questions yeah uh, part b questions let us look out what is the change in internal energy of the helium in the balloon okay so this question needs to find the change of internal energy that means we need to find delta u and we need to find delta u change in internal energy of helium helium is a mono helium is a monoatomic gas so degree freedom is free only okay so how how to do this yeah how to find the delta u so um delta u want to find delta u so delta u is u2 minus u1 so this is the change in internal energy change in internal energy is the final internal energy minus initial internal energy uh, final is uh, u2 initial is u1 so final minus initial u2 minus u1 okay the formula for internal energy okay, based on previous chapter kinetic theory of gas internal energy of gas is the uh, total kinetic energy of gas molecule yeah total kinetic energy total kinetic energy of gas uh, is uh, f over 2 nrt or f over 2 nkt okay uh, so the uh, internal energy is the formula for internal energy is f over 2 nrt so we use this formula uh, and substitute for both u2 and u1 so for u2 we have f over 2 nr t2 uh, internal energy 2 we have temperature 2 and then internal energy 1 we have temperature 1 that's it okay and that's it so um okay but uh yeah the degree of freedom f f yeah this is a monoatomic gas uh helium is a mono monoatomic gas so the degree of freedom is maximum three only uh, because uh, for helium monoatomic gas it only has translational kinetic energy yeah translational kinetic energy it don't it don't it doesn't have the rotational kinetic energy okay so you only have translational kinetic energy so degree of freedom is three now do we have the number of mole n do we have number of mole is it given no we don't have the number of mole so do we have the temperature yes we have the temperature but we don't have the number of mole so how to do we have to find the number of mole uh, by using equal uh, pv equal to nrt we can find the number of mole yeah uh, we have the pressure one we have the volume one we have the temperature one so we can actually find the uh, number of mole and then we uh, uh then we can substitute into the equation or if you don't want to find the number of mole uh, you can actually substitute you can actually substitute 
uh, the NRT, you see, this is the NRT, which is this one, NRT. You can substitute with PV. Uh, you see, you can just substitute NRT to PV. Uh, no, need to, no need to find the number of mole. Finding the number of mole and substitute here is uh, one way. Another way, you can just simply change the NRT. You can just change the NRT become PV. Uh, okay, so how to change? Let us change, yeah? Let us change. Just uh, do the smart way, yeah? Uh, change uh, NRT to PV. So NRT2 will have P2V2. Uh, we have P2V2. And then uh, NRT1 will have P1V1. Uh, that's it. Very simple. Okay? So, do we have the pressure pressure 2 volume 2? Yes. Uh, yeah, pressure 2, we got it just now. Pressure 2. Do we have the volume 2? Yes, volume 2 is equal to volume 1. Constant volume. Oh, so V1 equal, yeah, this is an isochoric process. V1 equal to V2. So V1 equal to V2. So actually we can factorize the common. You see that? So since uh, volume is the same, we can just put as a V. I uh, can just put as V. Um, can just put as V because same volume. And then we can factor out the common. Uh, F over 2. Okay. F over 2. Uh, v. Okay. F over 2 V. And then pressure 2 minus pressure 1. Okay. Uh, find out, factorize the vo volume. So, do you have all the information? Okay, the this is a monoatomic gas. Monoatomic gas, so degree of freedom is 3 only. Uh, so, we have the 3. We have volume. Yes, we have volume, 1,500 meter cube. And then pressure 2. Yes, we have pressure 2 and we have pressure 1. Yes, so substitute the, inf the information. Okay, degree of freedom is 3 only. 3. And then the volume is uh, volume is one uh, five zero zero and pressure okay so let us um, um, pressure two what is the pressure two yeah one point one four four okay let's substitute one point one four four one point one four four exponent five minus okay. Minus the pressure one. So what is the, my pressure one? The pressure one is this uh, one two zero exponent three. Uh, one two. So it's one two zero exponent three. Uh, that's it. Okay. So my volume is one five zero zero. Okay. My pressure two. Okay, my pressure 2 is 1.144 far exponent 5. Good. My pressure 1 is uh, uh, pressure 1 is 120 exponent 3. Uh, you see that? That's why I gather the information here. Easy for me to retrieve my information. If you don't do like that, so you always have to refer the long questions. Very hard to find the information. Which one is pressure 1? Which one is pressure 2? Which one is volume 1? Which one is volume 2? Which one is temperature 1? Which one is temperature 2? All the information mix up. All the information mix up in one question. So it's better you uh, list out. List out uh, first situation. List out second situation. List out systematically all the information according to the situation in columns. Yeah, in clear cut columns, then you can get the information easily to do the questions. Okay, so I already substitute all the information, so now it's time to get the answer. Okay, okay, uh, substitute correctly, so I got the answer, which is equal to uh, oh, I got a negative value, I got a negative delta u. So, what does it mean by negative delta u? Tell me, what does it mean by negative delta u? Negative 1.26 uh, exponent 7. Sorry. Uh, exponent 7 joule. Uh, what does it mean by uh, negative delta U? Negative delta U means the internal energy decrease. Uh, temperature will also decrease. 
the gas become colder. Yeah, become colder because the internal energy decrease, temperature decrease. Yeah, delta U negative means internal energy decrease. Now, uh, we got that. Uh, now, let us find the last questions. What happened? Yeah, uh, what happened? What happened to the change in internal energy of the gas of the helium? What happened to this change of internal energy? So this question also discuss about what happened to the change in internal energy. Yeah. So why? That means another another uh, another way of asking is why the internal energy decrease? Why? Uh, normally, if we want to know why. We always refer to the refer back to the first law of thermodynamic equation. Okay, first law first law of thermodynamic equation will explain why. So first of all, do you have Q? We don't have Q. Uh, yeah, we already have del uh, delta V and delta U, which is this value. W, we do have W. Yes, because this is a constant volume. Constant volume. No work done, zero work done, isochoric process. Yeah. So this uh, if volume is constant, if volume is constant, no expansion, no compression. Yeah. No expansion, no compression, volume constant, no expansion, no compression. Work done is zero. Uh, work done is zero. So this work done can be cut or become zero. So uh, so what is my Q? So my Q is equal to uh, just substitute the information for delta U just now I got a negative I got negative 1.26 exponent 7 so my heat loss is negative 1 point okay the negative sign I put uh, I emphasize the negative uh, 1.26 exponent uh, exponent what exponent 7 joule uh, exponent 7 joule uh, what does it mean by this that means uh, heat loss uh, negative negative q means heat loss mm. okay uh, that means um, the internal energy decrease okay the internal energy decrease because because of what because a uh, loss as heat energy heat energy to the surrounding ah uh, because loss as heat energy to the surrounding okay uh, loss as heat to energy to the surrounding so there's a uh, heat release uh, or heat dissipated sorry heat dissipated or heat loss lah uh, to the uh, surrounding the internal energy the internal energy decrease temperature decrease internal energy decrease because the energy is lost as heat energy to the surrounding because you get Q equal to negative yeah, key to the negative. Uh, heat is dissipated to the surrounding. That's why the internal energy of the gas decrease. Yeah, internal energy decrease. Internal energy of the gas decrease. Okay, so that's it for uh, this question, question 5. Let's, let us move on to question 6.